and more out of state students are looking at Idaho as a place to attend college. That's according to a report from the Idaho State Board of Education. Every year they release this data on higher education, including enrollment trends, graduation rates and budget information. And News Channel 7's Jude Binkley spoke with the state board earlier today and he joins us to break down the biggest takeaways from this report. Jude. Well, sure, this is the second straight year where overall enrollment numbers at Idaho colleges has been up. And this year's report also showed some interesting trends about higher education in the state. The number of high school students taking dual credit, allowing them to earn college credit, has dramatically increased over the past several years. I think it's a result of the legislature investing into the Advanced Opportunities Program. Starting in 2017, Idaho public school students were each given access to $4,125 worth of advanced opportunities like dual credit. The chief research officer for the Idaho State Board of Education says those students are also getting a good value once they step on a college campus. The board has not approved a tuition and fee increase in three years. Idaho students pay about 19% less in tuition than out-of-state students at Idaho universities. There's a high probability that, that after they complete their degree, they'll get a job in Idaho and that they're more likely to earn more. College enrollment in Idaho is up 2% from 2018 to 2022. However, the number of in-state students has dropped by 12% during that time, while the number of out-of-state students enrolling in Idaho universities jumped 21%. The state board says they heard from many students during COVID that they wanted an in-person college experience, which could be a reason for the increase in out-of-state students. During COVID, I would guess it was because Idaho institutions worked really hard to stay open. So while out-of-state institutions may have gone practically virtual, the Idaho institutions said, we're going to stay open, we're gonna figure out how to do this. And they got it done. Now the state board measures college enrollment at the three year mark because a lot of students go on a gap year or a church mission. So we don't have a complete picture of how COVID might have impacted total enrollment yet. We do know the number of high school students who immediately go to college has dropped since the pandemic. The state board says they're looking at that and possible initiatives to encourage more of those students to enroll. And uh, we'll have that full state board report linked in this story at KTV.com. All right, Jude Binkley, thank you.